Hello mga katropa, welcome back uh, to this channel. Uh, andito na naman po tayo sa ating criminology, Gabay Kalaman. Well, uh, to tell you something about this channel, no, this criminology, Gabay Kalaman, this is actually intended for our criminology students, yung nag-aaral po ng criminology and yung nag aspire to become a criminologist. Those who are preparing for the upcoming board exam, we conceptualize this video or online tutorial so that in our own little way, makatulong po tayo sa mga estudyante po natin at saka doon po sa mga nagre-review. Okay? We will try to simplify everything here. Uh, pipilitin po natin na uh, yung discussion natin, it, uh, madidiscuss po natin yung topic in such a way that everybody will be able to understand it. Pasensya na po sa pananagalog ko. I am not from Luzon. I am from Mindanao. But I will try to do my best to make use of that language so that uh, may iintindihan po ng maigi yung discussion po natin. Okay? So, sa araw na to po, uh, itutuloy po natin yung discussion natin regarding fingerprint po or personal identification. In my last video po na ina-upload po natin sa YouTube, um, we are discussing about the rules governing the selection of a delta. Okay? At this point in time, puntahan po natin ang rules in the selection of a core of a loop type of pattern. So, ang ibig sabihin po, yung rules na to, applicable lang to if the pattern involved is a loop type of pattern po. Okay? So, ang tandaan po natin, as far as rules is concerned, there gonna be four rules governing the selection of a core in a loop type of pattern. Okay? So, what are these four? Okay? So, at this point in time, we will now try to discuss and enumerate and explain the four rules governing the selection of a core in a loop type of pattern. Okay? So, rule number one po says that the core is placed upon or within the innermost sufficient recurve. Uulitin ko po. The core is placed upon or within the innermost sufficient recurve. Okay? So, basically, the rule number one is just telling us kung saan po makikita si core. Okay? Pero i-illustrate po natin. Kasi, ang pinaka-importante po na ma-identify natin kung saan po si sufficient recurve. Okay? Now, what is a sufficient recurve po? Okay? We'll take this example. This is a loop type of pattern. Okay? Now, as you observe po, this portion, there is a recurving. Okay? This recurving ridge, it will only become a sufficient recurve if the recurving ridge goes back completely towards the direction from where the ridges has started. Kung saan po nag-oompisa si ridges. Ito po yung sinasabi po natin na mga sufficient recurve. Okay? Now, kailangan po, para maging sufficient recurve siya, Siyempre, may shoulder. Okay? Shoulder of the loop or sufficient recurve. Now, again, si rule number one is just telling us kung saan po makikita si core. Ang sabi po ni rule number one, the core is placed upon or within the innermost sufficient recurve. Therefore, ang hahanapin natin ngayon muna kung saan po si innermost sufficient recurve. Diba? As what I have said, this is a sufficient recurve. This is also a sufficient recurve. This is also a sufficient recurve. Ito din po, sufficient recurve. Okay? So, lalagyan po natin ng number. Ito, ito po, ito po, si sufficient recurve number one, sufficient recurve number two, sufficient recurve number three, sufficient recurve number four. So, saan po makikita si core? Sa innermost sufficient recurve. 
meaning sa pinaka loob no the center okay so ito po na sufficient recurve na to is the innermost therefore si core po makikita natin within or upon meaning pag sinasabi po nating within ibig sabihin po uh, to the immediate surroundings pag sinasabi po nating upon diyan mismo sa sufficient recurve okay so in other words again si core po makikita lang po natin dito po banda okay so that is rule number one again si rule number one is just telling us where we can find the core of a loop type of pattern. Okay? So, dadako tayo ngayon sa rule number two. So, what is a rule number two? The rule number two says, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains no ending ridge or rod rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the shoulder of the loop farther from the delta. Uulitin ko po para klaro. Rule number two says, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains no ending ridge or rod rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the shoulder of the loop farther from the delta. Okay? So, i-illustrate po natin. Allow me first to erase this one. I-erase muna natin dyan yung innermost sufficient recurve. I will now erase the number para klaro po. Na ngayon, lalagyan natin ng innermost sufficient recurve. Okay? So, ipagpalagay po natin na ito po yung delta natin. Tama ho ba? So, yan po si delta. Diba? Yung previous video po natin, ang sinasabi natin, delta can be located at the point of, diver at the point of divergence of the two type lines. Okay? So, ngayon, saan po si core dito? Ang Sinasabi po ni rule number 2, just in case, this innermost sufficient recurve, wala pong ridges or rod na nasa loob niya. Wala po to. Okay? How if there are no ridges within the innermost sufficient recurve? So saan po makikita si core? Then, rule number 2 is saying that the core is placed where? At the shoulder of the loop. Okay? So, i-identify natin ngayon si shoulder. Okay? So, this is shoulder number 1. This is shoulder number 2. Hindi naman po pwede na yung core natin dalawa. Dapat isa lang. Kasi bawal yung dalawa-dalawa eh. Dapat isa lang talaga. Okay? So, ngayon, Saan po dito si core? Now, rule says, the core must be placed at the shoulder of the loop which is farther from the delta. So, ito po si delta. So, saan po sa dalawa ang malayo sa delta? Of course, shoulder number one is farther from the delta. Therefore, this shoulder of the loop will become your core. Okay? So, hindi po ito. Okay? Ito ang pipiliin natin kasi siya ang malayo. Okay? So, that is rule number two. I hope klaro po, no? Uh, so, how if the innermost sufficient recurve, may mga ridges po diyan? Are we going to select this shoulder as our core? Definitely not. Then, allow me to bring you to rule number three. Okay? So, what is rule number three? Rule number three says, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains an even number of, of ridges or rods rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the end of the center rod or center ridge. I will repeat. Okay? Uulitin ko po para klaro. When the innermost sufficient recurve contains an even number of ridges or rods rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the end of the center rod. Okay? So, ang keywords po natin dyan sa rule number 3 is uneven. Ano po ang ibig sabihin po ng uneven? 
Uneven means odd numbers. No? Yung mga numbers na hindi pantay. Say for example, number 1, number 3, number 5, number 7, number 9. So let us assume that there are, ipagpalagay natin, may limang rad or ridges po tayo sa loob ng innermost sufficient record. Okay? Rad number 1, rad number 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, ang sinasabi po ni rule number 3, if the innermost sufficient recurve contains an even number of rods, the core is placed at the end of the center rod. So, if there are 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, malamang ang center rod nito si number 3. Tama po ba? Diba si number 3? Kasi siya ang sentro po sa 5. Okay? So, therefore, at the end of this rod number 3, then this will become your core. Ito po ang core natin. Bakit po? Kasi siya ang nasa sentro among the rods here. Okay? So that is rule number 3. Di ba madali lang po? Pag uneven pala yung mga ridges or rods na nandoon sa innermost sufficient recurve, ang pipiliin po natin na core is on the tip or at the end of the center rod. Kaya nga, ito po ang tinatawag po natin na core in this example. Okay? But, how if in the innermost sufficient recurve, there are even number of ridges or rods? Okay? May mga even number of rods, 2, 4, uh, 6, 8, 10, and so on and so forth. Then, simply walang center rod doon. Okay? So, ano po or saan po makikita si core? Then guys, allow me to bring you to rule number 4. So, ano po si rule number 4? Okay? We will erase this one first. Rule number 4 says, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains even number of rods rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core, his place at the end of the two center rods farther from the delta. Uulitin ko po para klaro. When the innermost sufficient recurve contains even number of rods rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the end of the two center rods farther from the delta. Okay? So even ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, so ipagpalagay natin na ito po si innermost sufficient recurve. What is inside? There are four rods or ending ridge. Okay? There are four ridges po. So, even. No? Paris. So, ngayon, saan po dito si core? Kasi walang center rod eh. Kasi even. So, rule number four tells us that the core is placed where? At the, at the end of the two center Rods. So therefore, based on that rule, there is a need for us to identify first the two center rods. Apat to, malamang, ang two center rods nito, itong dalawa. Si rod number two at saka si rod number three. But again, hindi po pwede na yung core natin dalawa. Dapat isa lang po. Okay? Or saan dito si core? Okay? Then, ang sinabi po ni rule number four, it must be placed, the core must be placed at the end of the two center rod or two center rods farther from the delta. Oh, so if this is our delta, ito lang ang pinaka-concern natin ngayon, di ba? Yung dalawa na yan. So again, considering that this end, ridge end is farther from the delta compared to this rod, therefore, our core must be this one. Siya po ang core natin. Okay? So, madali lang po, di ba? Ang tandaan lang po natin, pag even, i-identify mo yung dalawang center rods. Okay? And then, ang pipiliin mo yung malayo na ridge end or rod. Okay? Malayo sa delta. But, if it, the innermost sufficient recurve contains an even number of rods, wala po tayong problema. All you have to do 
is to find and identify the center rod and on the tip of that center rod, the ridge end of that center rod, yun po ang gagawin mong core in that case. So yan po ang apat na rules. But guys, before we will end, tandaan po natin na ang rules is telling us may isang requirement dyan. No? Ang sabi kasi ng rules, rising as high as the shoulder of the loop. Dapat po, para counted, para i-count mo yung rod na yan, dapat that rod or ridge must reach the shoulder of the loop. Ibig sabihin po, if that rod or ridge does not reach the shoulder of the loop, then it will not be counted. Say for example, ito po. Okay, ito na. Number one, may isang ridge dito. O rod. At saka ito. This is the shoulder of the loop. Ano ito? Shoulder. Okay? Now, if you will try to look closely, there are three rods. No? May tatlo po tayong ridges na nasa loob ng innermost sufficient recurve. So, if we will use or apply rule number three, uneven, so this will become your core. But guys, remember, for the rod to be counted, dapat the rod or the rod must reach the shoulder of the loop. So in this case, hindi po to kasali. There are only two rods. So, naging even na to. Okay? So hindi na po ito kasali. So this one will become your core. So in other words, for that rod to be counted, para maisali mo siya doon sa number of rods, it is either even or uneven, it is a requirement that that rod or rods must raise as high as the shoulder of the loop. Okay? So guys, those are the four rules that eventually governs the selection of a core in a loop type of pattern. So guys, before we will formally end, allow me to recap the four rules that governs the selection of the core in a loop type of pattern po. Okay, so number one, the core is placed upon or within the innermost sufficient recurve. Number two, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains no ending ridge or rod, rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the shoulder of the loop farther from the delta. And number three, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains an even number of rods or ridge rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the end of the center rod. And finally po, rule number four, when the innermost sufficient recurve contains even number of rods or, ridge, or ridges rising as high as the shoulder of the loop, the core is placed at the end of the two center rods farther from the delta. Guys, I hope na klaro po sa inyo yung apat na rules. So guys, hanggang dyan lang muna tayo sa ngayon. I hope you learned something from our short discussion. And guys, please continue to follow me in this uh, YouTube channel. Yung hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, come on! Subscribe to my YouTube channel and please do not forget to click the notification bell. And guys, I am also requesting you to please follow me and like my page, my Facebook page, Edwin Taganas Montalba. Uh, please like and follow me there because I'll be also uploading some videos there. Okay? So, ingat po kayong lahat. Kita-kita po tayo next time. Hanggat sa muli po. Again, this is your coach. Your coach, Ed Montalba po. Ingat po. And God bless you all.